a long recovery rehab ahead of them. Does that change how you pursue them going into this free agency this summer? No, I mean, I don't, there's things I can say. I don't, there's all these rules, but I would say that um, we value those guys at the highest level. I mean, I don't, I'd be, wouldn't be a very good, whatever I am, GM, if I didn't understand how valuable they are to um, our own team. Um, you know, it sometimes gets lost, but we're, I think when Kevin plays in the NBA Finals, we've gone nine and one. So I don't know what else matters. Um, and Clay's, they're both fantastic. So those are guys that you do everything you can uh, to keep within your organization. Last year at this time, this exact, uh, I guess, press availability, you said Kevin, you know, whatever he wants as far yeah. as negotiations. Yeah. Is that kind of how you're going into it with KD and Clay? I mean, I got in trouble for kind of saying, I don't know what I'm allowed to say. All I'll say is that um, those guys are highly important to us and um, deserving of being rewarded in, in um, you know, the right manner. So we would, um, you know, know, knowing them too as people, those are people that you, be, beyond what everybody here sees, and we get to see a little, the, the curtain keeps getting more and more open. You, you, the media, the fans get to see more and more of us, but there is some stuff you don't see which we get for ourselves. Um, and so um, to see those two guys, not just them, but our whole team, um, it's hard to find high quality uh, people. And both of them are that. And so you just do, you try to keep those guys within this, within these walls the best you can. What's your level of optimism 